When the brain creates a pleasurable experience, it brings several levels of processing together into a pleasure construct. The best way to show how this happens is to think about something pleasurable. For instance, a cookie. But not just any cookie. This is a very special cookie called a Madeleine, made famous by the French author Marcel Proust in a legendary passage known as the episode of the Madeleine. One day in winter as I came home, my mother, seeing that I was cold, offered me some tea. I declined at first, and then, for no particular reason, changed my mind. She had sent out for one of those short, plump little cakes called Petite Madeleine, which look as though they had been molded in the fluted scallop of a shell. I raised to my lips a morsel of the cake which I had soaked in a spoonful of the tea. No sooner had the warm liquid in the crumbs touched my palate than a shudder ran through my whole body. An exquisite pleasure had invaded my senses. And suddenly, a memory returns. The taste was that of the little crumb of madeleine which my Aunt Leonie used to give me on Sunday mornings at Combray, dipping it first in her own cup of lime flower tea. Proust stumbled across the phenomenon of involuntary memory. When he put the cookie into his mouth, it brought back a flood of memories and emotions from his childhood. He didn't ask for these memories to come back. They lay dormant for years until they were triggered by the taste of the cookie. This is the way the brain creates a pleasurable experience. It brings rewards, smells, taste, places, memories, and even emotions together into a single sensation. We don't experience these different levels of processing individually. The brain weaves them together into a unified perception. In addiction, something goes wrong at every level of brain processing as the brain tries to generate a pleasurable experience and fails. Addiction is pleasure unwoven.